Hey crafters, I'm Daniela with Didi's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. Today's DIYs are part of the Crafted by Corey's mini challenge. Please make sure to follow her on Instagram at Crafted by Corey and on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the playlist in the description below. Now let's jump right in and let's get crafty. Our first DIY is a wooden bunny. I purchased this bunny at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be removing the back part because we're not going to need that. And with this titanium white, I'm going to go ahead and paint the front surface only. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it so it gets dried faster and I'm gonna give it another coat but I'm not gonna show that part and it should look just like this. Now we are ready to add a little face with my ruler. I'm gonna go ahead and just find a centered spot for the eyes. And with the back of this sponge brush from Dollar Tree and you guys have seen me do this before, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of black to the back of the paintbrush because it's circular and it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do the left eye. It's like a little stamp. And then I'm gonna go over it with my paintbrush. Now I want my bunny to be winking, so with my pencil, I'm just gonna do a closing little eyelid with some eyelashes. And then with a very, very thin paintbrush and some black paint, I'm just gonna go over that. And then with my pencil, I'm going to draw the nose and a little mouth. I'm going to paint the little nose with a light pink and I'm going to go over the mouth with some black paint and with my thin paintbrush. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of pink on one of my fingers and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on the cheek. That way it looks like a rosy cheek and I did take a little paint off with a paper towel just so it wouldn't be so much. And I like that little look it gives it. It looks like it's just a little blush. Look how cute that looks, y'all. With a pencil, I'm just gonna draw some whiskers and go over it with some paint. Now I had these flowers, they are fabric flowers, they're so small and I had them in my craft stash. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them on the left side of the bunny just to give it a little bit different texture and just so it looks cuter. And of course, don't forget to seal your work before you glue the flowers. I forgot to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And this is the final look, you guys. Look at how adorable this little bunny looks. And she is ready to go on a tiered tray. Moving along to our second DIY, it's going to be a little egg crate. I bought these little two wooden eggs at Dollar Tree and this little crate at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backs on both of my eggs. And this time we are gonna wanna remove the whole sticker, but we'll do that later. And I'm gonna first paint my crate in the same titanium white as I painted my first bunny. Now we're gonna be using this vinyl paper, which I found at Target. It came in a pack of five or three, I don't remember, for like $3. And I'm gonna go ahead and before I use that, I'm gonna grab my ruler and I'm gonna find the center of the egg on both of them and I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. And this is simply to divide where I'm gonna put the vinyl paper and where I'm gonna be painting. I'm gonna make a very simple design and I decided to paint the bottom of the egg in white and it's the same titanium white as the crate. I'm painting all of the sides of my egg and the back as well, but the back is going to be done later once all of the front is dry. And for this DIY, we are going to need those stickers removed on the back of the egg because we're going to paint that right now. 
And since the back is going to be exposed, I'm going to go ahead and paint the back of both eggs. And of course, to get done faster, make sure to blow dry. And we are ready to use our vinyl. I'm going to go ahead and place my egg on my vinyl on the back. And with the pencil, I'm going to draw only the top. I'm doing little circles on each side and I am going to go ahead and with the ruler, draw a line and cut that out. Now once I actually stick it on the egg, it's not going to be exact and that's okay you guys because I'm going to get a razor blade, make sure it's new, that way it's nice and sharp. I always have these in my craft stash. I'm going to go ahead and cut along the edges of the egg and it's going to cut really precisely and very close to the egg. That way the sticker is the exact same size. And of course, we're going to be doing the same to the second egg. With my gloss varnish, I'm going to seal the paint. Now I'm going to go ahead and seal my vinyl with some Mod Podge. I'm going to go over it on the top just to give it more of a protection. You could do it as well before applying, so you could do it before and after, but I'm only going to do it after. It's your preference, but this is going to give it more of a seal. And I am ready to glue down the eggs to my crate. I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. I'm using my Gorilla Glue Sticks, but you can also use wood glue. I had some moss in my craft stash from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and put this inside my little crate. I also had some moss stones and I thought this would be a perfect little addition. And you can find these exact ones at Dollar Tree as well. And I had these little speckled eggs from last year and I'm adding those but then I decided to add this little mini ceramic egg I had from Dollar Tree. I had an extra one lying around and I thought it would add a nice little final touch to my crate. What do you think guys? This is the final look. Simple, clean and adorable. Let's go ahead and move along to our third DIY, which is going to be a mini duck pond. I found this little mini wooden slice at Michael's and I used my coupon, so I don't remember how much it was, but it wasn't that expensive. And it's very small and I'm going to go ahead and use this particular paint in French blue. And I'm going to paint like water, like a little pond all around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just like so. That's done. I'm going to use my titanium white once again, the one I've been using for my prior projects with my thin brush. I'm going to just draw some little lines all around to give it some little design just like this. And I had these little miniature duckies and they are from Valentine's Day. I think I got them last year on sale. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but they were just so darn cute. And I think that for this DIY, it's going to be perfect. I saw something like this on Etsy, but it didn't have all the little extra details. It was just just the duck and the pond but I decided to add this little log from Dollar Tree that I had on my craft stash it comes like in a little pack with several little of these logs and I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery to add like a little bush and I had these little rocks you can glue them down I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna set them like this just in case I want to change it up a bit but this is the final look look how adorable that looks you guys and it could go on a tiered tray now let's move on to our fourth DIY, a wooden chick. I found this little egg at Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and remove that back sticker and that back plastic and I'm going to get ready to draw the egg with my pencil and I'm going to draw like an egg that's cracking on the top and on the bottom. 
And once again, with my titanium white, I'm going to paint that white part that's going to represent the egg, the top, and the bottom. And with this moon yellow, I'm going to paint the inside and this is going to be the little chick. I'm going to be using my ruler to kind of get an idea where I want my little eyes to go. And with the same French blue I used for my little duck pond, I'm going to be doing the little circle. And I'm going to do the same concept as I did with my bunny. I'm going to paint the back of this sponge brush. And with that circle, I'm going to go ahead and paint it with my paintbrush. And I'm going to stamp it on my little chick's eyes. Fill it in with a very thin paintbrush so you have nice circles. With my pencil, I'm going to draw two little lines inside of the blue eyes and I'm going to paint that in black. Now to add a little different texture, I'm going to use some felt and I'm going to cut a little beak for my little chick. With the same titanium white that we've been using and with my embossing tool because I like how small it is and how I can draw little details, I'm going to draw two little white circles on the little chick's eyes. And of course, don't forget to add the little beak, but we're not done yet, so stick around. Now I'm going to be using some Jenga blocks to glue to the back of my little chick so it can stand. And I did get this inspiration from Unicorn Dust Designs. And you guys, I accidentally glued it straight. Make sure to glue it a little bit tilted so it's not so straight because it might not stand. Mine did, but it's going to be kind of tricky. So make sure that whenever you're doing all of this, when you're gluing them just like this, you don't glue the little chick straight onto the Jenga block. I don't know if that makes sense, but make sure to tilt it a little bit so it's kind of, you know, it has a way to stand better. Because if you do it like this, it might not stand on all surfaces. So that's just a little tip. Unfortunately, I couldn't unglue this anymore because that Gorilla Glue really was sticking on there. But once you're done, make sure to seal your work with DuraClear because you want that protection on your painting. And this is the final product, you guys. Look at my little chick. It's so adorable and it's ready to stand on your tiered tray or anywhere you'd like. Now let's go ahead and look at all of our DIYs, y'all. Let me know which of these four DIYs was your favorite or which one you will be making guys and don't forget to tag me on instagram if you do and if you enjoyed these diys and if you enjoyed these videos don't forget to push that like don't forget to subscribe and of course don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be notified on my next video it really helps my channel all of these diys are so cute happy and just bring you so much joy they remind me of psalms 35 joy comes in the morning. Thanks for crafting with me and don't forget to spread love, kindness, and stay crafty!